Three steps to building your portfolio for children's illustration. Step one, choose your pieces. Show characters suitable for a children's book. These pieces are great examples of character illustration. It's also a great idea to show a character over several pages. This shows that you can carry a character through a 32-page picture book. Here are some characters that would not likely appear in a children's book. While they are children, they are just too still and they are looking straight at the camera. They don't seem real. While art directors do look for animals as characters, this animal character probably wouldn't appear on a page with these words. Vary your settings, perspectives, and expressions. Here are some pieces that use one or a combination of these elements. This is a piece that uses setting. The emotion in this piece is created by the setting. This is a great example of perspective being used in addition to setting. Here is another example of a piece using perspective to enhance the story. The perspective adds interest to this art and the variety of expressions help tell the story. And finally, this art is all about expression as the characters on the right react to the main character on the left. This is beautiful, but the straight on perspective is not all that engaging. These settings are also lovely, but too much the same. Think about the action and storytelling appeal of each piece. Here are some pieces that tell the story with extreme action, as well as setting and expression. Here is an example of quiet action. And here too is quiet action, which also shows the progression of a character. The action in this piece describes a key moment before it happens. While most of the pieces we've shown are color, black and white is great in a portfolio, but only if you enjoy it as much as this artist obviously does. So this piece has a lot of action in it, but what's happening? We can't tell what the story is about. We can tell what is happening in this piece, absolutely nothing. Too boring for children's illustration. Step two, build your beginning, middle, and end. Think of your portfolio as a fence. Each fence post is a strong piece. The supporting pieces between are like the rails. So every few flips of the page, you want to hold your portfolio up by driving in a fence post, a really strong piece. Step three, putting it all together. A lot of thought is given to what kind of leather or plastic bound device you should show your work in. Let's state for the record that a cool slick portfolio case will not get you a job if the work inside is not as great as the case. So focus on your work first. Then there are a few do's and don'ts to keep in mind when putting it all together. Don't choose a case so big and unwieldy that you're in danger of having this happen when you open it up on the art director's desk. And don't include original pieces. This is perhaps the biggest no-no of all and definitely the mark of an amateur. Do pay attention to size specs for portfolio showcases. Most SCBWI portfolio showcases have a maximum size restraint of 29 inches wide by 12 inches high. Do get high quality prints of your originals. Do practice talking about your work and do not be apologetic. If any pieces have won recognition in the publishing trade, be sure to mention it. Here is an easy way to do this. If you both write and illustrate, feel free to include a dummy attached with a string to your portfolio. Some portfolios have pages that butt together so you can display a 17 by 11 spread using two 8.5 by 11 pages. Do include a promotional postcard to leave behind with the art director. 
They can be printed on one side or both sides, black and white or color, but be sure to include your website and contact info. Here are some samples from the Mid-South Illustrators. Finally, here are a few tidbits to keep in mind. As we've shown you, there are many different styles suitable for children's book illustration. Visit a bookstore or library to continue your education on which publishing houses prefer which style. Familiarize yourself with the terms trade publishing, educational publishing, and mass market publishing, as almost all art directors will use these terms to classify your style. If you do work in more than one style, be ready to show at least five to seven pieces of each style. If you can't do that, choose the one that you like best. And speaking of how many pieces to show, for a single style, try to show at least 10 pieces, with the absolute minimum being seven. But remember, if in doubt, throw it out. Your portfolio is only as strong as your weakest piece.